Now, for you to be able to use the Move to Android feature that WhatsApp just released, you have to make sure that the Android phone is factory reset. That is as though it's coming out of the box. That is the only way this is going to work. So if you're already using your phone, your Android phone, then you may start thinking of how you will be able to reset the phone. Of course, if you have vital information you don't want to lose, since you know that resetting, factory resetting your phone will mean you losing all of your information, you can easily back it up on Google Drive so that you can be able to download it back when you're done with this whole process. So we're going to tap on get started here so that we can be able to start moving everything that we want to move. So we'll give you some time to get ready. Meanwhile, something I did before off camera was connecting to my Wi-Fi and that is one of the criteria that you have to meet for this whole process to be easier for you. You may actually want to get a 5G network, as you can see here, for fast connection because we're going to be needing these Wi-Fi services to be able to move the files, though it depends on how much information that you want to move. So. Now, this is the window we have been looking for, copy apps and data. And like you see, it states clearly here that you can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google accounts, and more. So we're going to tap on next. Of course, we want to move. So for this transfer to actually work out, you're going to need a cable like this, the lighting to USB-C cable, because if I tap on move chart to Android and tap on start, once it's done, you're going to see where it says your Android device will let you know when you can disconnect the cable. So the whole process actually makes use of cable connection. So I'm going to connect the two cables, as you can see, right, this to this and this right to this. So, so the next thing you want to do is to tap on trust it. So that will automatically connect the two devices. And of course, you can see after backing up here, every other thing you need to do after you have backed up your chats on the iPhone, it stays clear that you have to continue on your Android phone. So now that it's connected, we're going to tap on Next, then watch how it's going to go about its, um, its job. Good. So at this point, I will have to sign in my email. Now that I have signed in, the next prompt obviously shows set up this device for yourself or a member of whatever. So I'm going to be using it. So I'm going to tap on next. You want to add a phone number to receive calls and all of that and all of that. It's okay. Yes, I'm in and agree. So now we're done. We're getting ready to copy. If you have a lot of data on your iPhone, this step may take a while, obviously. So it's going to calculate all the time it's going to take to move the information from my iPhone to the Android phone. Now take note that this process of setting up the phone is trying to move all of the information. Yeah, so we're going to see how we can be able to select it just to only WhatsApp. If that is the only thing you want, of course, you can allow it to move everything, but we can just also allow it to move only the WhatsApp. Good. So now we are here at that phase where we can actually select what we want to move and what we don't want to move. Remember, if you want to, you can just tap on copy right here and move everything. But since we are not actually moving everything and also to make this as fast as possible, we're going to toggle off some of these yeah, features and photos, uh, contacts and leave only applications. Now that drastically reduces the time it's going to take to move the apps to just about one minute. And now that we're done selecting, we're going to tap on copy now you can see that there are actually 12 applications that can be moved and still you can still streamline it further to just the two whatsapps so i'm going to take off all of this this is just to fasten the time so that we don't have the video running to this particular video 
run it too long. So I'm going to leave only two apps, WhatsApp Messenger and the WhatsApp business. Yeah. So and then I'm going to tap on copy. So at this stage, there is a QR code that needs to be scanned. So, so we're going to start up that process of moving all over again. So we're going to go to settings already. Then we're going to tap on charts, move charts to Android. Then this time we're going to tap on start. As you can see, immediately it starts um, without even having to scan the code. So that's exactly what we need. We are making progress, obviously. Then you tap on more and um, accept whatever, all of these things. Set a pin, okay. Re-enter the pin, whatever, let's just move on. and skip Google for now. Skip this for now, let's just continue. And um, so we wait for it to do its thing. Good. So now we're going to that stage where we are copying the data now. And um, you see, just a minute because of how I had to streamline some of those applications and all that. And it's finished. And like I said there, yeah, I can now disconnect my cable. So here it tells me to turn off iMessage on my iPhone. And that's pretty simple. You want to go to settings messages we're going to see our message so we'll turn it off right there and we tap on okay so it's getting the phone ready okay this is successful that's good good so we're now ready to start using your phone so we swipe up to go home now as you can see when you look you can't find whatsapp there but when you scroll down a bit you're going to see it's trying to complete installation of about 17 applications so this way i actually said you need a good network to be able to carry this whole process out because the better your network is the faster this whole setup would be for you so we're just going to wait for it to install all the applications that it wants to install so and at this point i want to say thank you so much for watching up to this point and please of course you want to consider subscribing to my channel so that you always get to see information like this that i would definitely be putting out every now and then so kindly subscribe to the channel and also hit on the bell icon so that you get notified as quickly as possible once i make those um videos and I post them so please kindly subscribe and like this video it's very important for me so that it can get more reach and um, you know algorithm and all of that okay so as you can see at this stage though is still installing some other applications 12 out of 17 now our whatsapp is here so we're just going to tap on whatsapp right here and English it's fine agree and continue then allow so we're going to enter the phone number this is important chat history i'm going to start it allow allow and boom import complete 